Hello, today we're going to be doing a Google Analytics walkthrough. Um, since pretty soon there's going to be only this new version available, we felt like we should update this video. Uh, this is a new tutorial um, provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence and put you in the fast lane to success. Learn more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. I also put a link um, to that to us in the description. And if you need to install analytics on your WordPress site, I've also attached a tutorial we made that will show you how to do that. Okay, so with that, we'll get started. So once you access your report, this is what you'll see. Um, this is kind of just the regular standard reporting dashboard. Uh, you'll see by day how many hits your site has been getting. You can go that specific. You could see how many people visited the site over the course of the last month. You can see how many of those visits were unique. So that means that those were actually different people, 715 as opposed to 919, which is why there's the number down here is 70% were new. All right. Um, the amount of pages they viewed per visit, how many pages was the average is around three. So they hit the home page and they hit one more page and they hit one more page and they're off for the most part, which isn't too bad, but these are the n numbers that you want to find out. So you figure out what you want, what you need to change on your site to try to get them there longer and try to get them on the pages that you want them to look at. Um, average time, two, two minutes, 10 seconds. That's not too bad, but it's not great. And the bounce rate, 33%. That means that they landed on one page and they left. They didn't go to another page. That's the bounce rate. 33% is fairly good. Um, if you have anything under 40, you should be fairly happy with your with your site. But even even at 33% or even at whatever number you have, you know you kind of want to um, you always want to try to get that number down as low as possible. All right. So if you wanted to look specifically for a date, say you're running um running an ad or a coupon or something and you wanted to be you wanted to just see a specific day, you go up to this top right, hit hit, hit this um, box and I'll bring this down. You can select that day. Even if you want to do a range. So if I wanted to do just last week, I'll go back to last Monday. Click that and then I'll go to let's see last Friday. And that would give me just that range in the week. I'm not going to do that. I want to keep everything just wide open um, while we're looking at these stats. But that's how you would do that. All right. So now you get into the more specifics. So we'll just go right down this drop down list and c try to cover everything. So you hit that drop down for demographics. You have location. All right. And that'll give you as detailed as the countries first. You can hit your country, give you all the states. So most of these, as would be expected, came from Massachusetts, which, since this place is located in Boston, mostly in Boston. Brookline gives you all the different cities that they're located in. You can see how long they stayed on the site. So you know these, all these cities that are really close to um, where the spa. This is actually a website for a spa that we're looking at. Uh, it'll show it show you that you know usually all the places that are actually in the within the range and the target market are staying on the site fairly long and not bouncing off, which is you know expected because if somebody in uh, a city across the state goes on their site and realizes they're in near Boston, they're probably going to just leave. All right, this next one will tell will go into language. Um, Unless your site is in different languages or you're really trying to target an international audience, you really don't need this, but this will tell you, you know, EN desk, so that's, you know, English, um, English, and this, I think DE is German, but um, yeah, so the site's in English, so that's pretty good. That means that <laughs> it's in the right language for the people finding the site. Okay, but if you did have a site, we recently tra translated a site into three different languages. If you did have a site in a different language, that would help you a lot. Uh, you know, if you're targeting an international audience to know what should I translate next. All right, we're just going to keep going down. All right, some of these I'm just going to skip over because I don't really use them. 
and um, so I'm not going to recommend or not recommend using it. But um, for a basic walkthrough like this, I'm just going to focus on exactly what you should be looking at uh, for sure. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go to behavior. This is another thing where we'll go quickly through this. This is just more information about if they were new or if they were returning. You know, you always want you always want new users, but at the same time, you know, you want people coming back to your site. So how are you going to do that? You get that's when you you, you get creative and you can start saying, "Well, we're only getting 29% of the people coming back to the site. How can you how can we get that number better?" Um, things like blogging or constantly updating your site will actually give people a reason to come come check it out if you're putting promotions it'll give them more reason to come back instead of landing on your site once and basically saving your phone number and then never having to go back to your site again um, which is obviously I mean if they're going to your site and getting your number that's great but how are you gonna get them more engaged that's the that's the game all right here's a little more data about frequency and people coming back to the site Okay. This goes into a little bit more of how much time they're spending while they're on there. Alright, now technology. This will tell you what browser uh, most of the people are looking at the site in. Uh, this helps a lot because your website will actually look a lot different on different browsers, whether it's Chrome, Internet Explorer, uh, you know any of the Firefox any of those browsers so you want to make sure that your site looks looks perfect in the browser that people are always looking at it in for this site you'll see that it's Safari Firefox Chrome Internet Explorer Android browser uh, a couple mobile applications so you gotta you gotta make sure that it's working perfectly in all those browsers because that's what your customers are looking in network that'll just give you some information about their internet providers um, I don't know I'm not really sure what kind of a difference that would make um, but it isn't you can find out some cool stuff like you know this this place is um, colleges like uh, MIT and BU so you can see that they are hitting you know, the students are in their target market and they are hitting those uh, that 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 uh, area so that's good to know okay keep going down alright some just a little bit more about something other engagement pages here's mobile this is where you can go down and you can see um, how many people were accessing your site on a phone so for this one it was about um, 189 out of the 900 visits so good amount fair amount of uh, the people accessing on the phone but definitely not um, you know nearly as much as on the desktop this will tell you what type of phone they were on iPhone number one 109 then the iPad and then as you go down you'll know so it looks like it's mostly the iPhone so if anything they should just make sure and then the iPad I mean I have an iPad and websites look pretty fine regardless uh, so I wouldn't worry too much about that I mean sometimes you do need to be a little more careful but you know make sure it works they, these people would need to make sure it works well on the iPhone you go to visitors flow next this is one of the stats I really like about this is new this is one of the newer things with um this is one of the newer things with uh, the new version of analytics this will tell you first we'll start by where they are and will tell you what page they first landed on and then what they did after that so here's the people that all went right to the home page alright so you see this 281 drop-offs that means they went to the home page and just left they, they didn't need to go anywhere else and then 536 people continued to another page and will tell you what page they went to so you get you can get a real good feel for what people are doing once they go to your site and the, you know they're going to the salon services they're going straight to contact so there's the 70 there's those people that go to your site go to contact and probably don't come back um, unless they don't save your number and they have to come back again the, those are the types of people you want to try to get more uh, more into the content of your site 
All right, so a lot of people like to go to the specials and packages, so and that's really good. And then you can go all the way down to second interactions, and then you can kind of see, click on it. Um, you can click on and get some more details about them, about the page, if you can't see the full link. So this one's really good. This will be fun for you to uh, investigate and figure out how you can um, how you can learn more. Okay, that's that. So now we'll go to advertising. If you're doing running AdWords, this is where you would see that information. I'm gonna. This is. I'm trying to keep this somewhat basic, so I'm gonna not cover AdWords in this in this tutorial. Next one, here's a really important one, traffic sources. This is where your internet traffic's coming from. On this site, you have cert. So the, the three are search, referral, and direct search is just somebody going on Google or Bing or Yahoo and searching for something and then finding your site. Uh, referral traffic is often next, another website like Yelp or any website that you're advertising on or just a site a site that happens to have a link to your website on it and then they click on that link and go to your site and direct is just somebody actually typing into the address bar your URL and going to your site. So you can get some information about the keywords that they're searching to find the site. But we'll get more into that as we go on down this list. Alright, sources. So let's look at, you can look at direct. Here's that. Referrals you're going to want to know where your referrals are coming from. For them it's a lot, mostly coming from Yelp. Uh, they're partnered with Aveda, so there's a lot coming from Aveda. Groupon, they've got a whole bunch. So that Facebook, so if you're doing any kind of advertising, you're going to want to know what's what's getting you that website traffic. Go to search, you go to organic, and that'll give you all the keywords that are people finding your site on. All right, and there's pages upon pages of uh, keywords, and you can check out all the keywords and see what, maybe what keywords. This could be a good feeder for what you want to use in your um, your AdWords campaign if you're going to do that. Okay. Content. This is where you can get you go to content and overview. This is where you can get more into which pages are most popular for them. Salon services is the most popular page. Gets about four. Uh, aside from the home page, gets about fourteen percent, almost yeah, almost fifteen percent of their page views. So that's a page that, if they're gonna go and update and deck out a page within their site or try to push a promotion, that would be a great page to put it on because they know that that's where a lot of the traffic is going, and then you can work from there in that order. Okay, and then. You can just go on and on with all the pages, but content drill down. That's just another another way to see how many what what pages how long people are staying on those pages. Alright. And then a lot of it is just gonna get redundant after that. So we'll look at in page analyt analytics. I'll try this real quick. It sometimes doesn't work for me. Alright. Here's their website. And it'll tell you it'll tell you what percent of clicks everything gets. Get this music off. Oops. That's why I mean I begged them not to make me put an autoplay thing on their site, but they wanted it. <laughs> so it'll tell you 33% once they land on the home page, go to uh, salon services. Some go to spa services. And you can see which drop down links get clicked more often than others. So facials and then massage therapy gets uh, about the same amount of hits. Alright. So that's kind of your in page analytics. And they don't have any links down here, so it might make sense to try to get some something linked up down here too, because there's no links now. Okay. Then once you go to these interior pages, you can do the same thing. 
So once they land on spa services, it'll tell me 30% click on facials. This works well for in, for links that are actually in your website. So this is another way that can be pretty neat to go and analyze your website traffic. All right, well, I don't want to drag this tutorial out too long. I think this is enough if you're a beginner uh, or you're used to the analytics but not the new version to get you started. Uh, this is a new tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials give you the keys to your web presence, put you in the fast lane to success. Learn more on our website at startcompeting.com tutorials.